So today um, I have a busy errand day. I'm taking Leo with me because, and I'm taking him in the pram because it's got a nice bottom, a nice um, big basket at the bottom. And um, so I thought I'd show you a few of the things that I like um, and things that I don't like about it while I'm doing it, while I'm putting it up now, ready to get organised for Leo. So it doesn't stand up. So you can't just, you know, it will have to rest somewhere. So um, that's one of the things I don't like about it, is the fact that it doesn't stand up. Okay. The other thing I don't like about it is how thin, for a baby, I've had, um, put it oven at last. I've had Heidi or Harry in it, and that's why the seat needs to be flattened properly. But it only has like just this base and then this cosy toes. This would be like equivalent to a normal cosy toes with a fleecy layer and the pretty um, wipe over fabric this side. Um, so it doesn't actually have a mattress. So even though it says newborn ready, um, ideal for newborns, I wouldn't personally, my own opinion this is, lie a newborn in it without a mattress. And I do like this bit, how you clip it, how you make it into a seat for the bigger ones. They want to sit up. But what you can't do is have the seat up and then just this bit tilted like you can on some other push chairs. Like um, you couldn't have the, the front bit up and then their legs can be out straight. That doesn't work with this one. Um, anyway, let's get it up, set up for Leah. So, so it's pretty easy to put up. So oh, you just have to unhook this, this doofer here. So that was pretty easy to do. And then you just put this on. Whichever way you want it. I have had it in this mode, so of course it's still in this mode because I had the baby sitting up, the kids sitting up in it before. I think it was Harry when I went to um, shopping. Oh, I'm going to come see for looking. Just put them both in, make sure they're in. And put the brake on. nice and flat. But it does have a rocky motion which is nice for babies. But I bought a mattress to go in it. Um, this is the head head huggery bit. I think I ought to put that on seeing as it's Leo that's going in there. Not a little one. They just zip on. And you've got the straps underneath as well to strap baby in. Leo's a doll. I'm not strapping him in, but you must with a real live baby in there. So this is what I bought. I bought it from Amazon. I don't even know if it's going to fit. <laughs> I measured it first, so I'm hoping it'll fit. But I couldn't bear the thought of putting a little one in there with no real softness on their skin, um, you know, for them to lie on anything. It just is so hard, the bottom of it. So you can either, I put that in, you can either lie them on that, I've got mattress covered there, or put that underneath this if you wanted. And then it could go on there like that. So at least it make, gives it that little bit extra, extra um, comfort for the baby. I'll, I'll show you now. 
just take that out. So here it is. This is how it's fitted in there. Um, so this is for the Cassato. This is the one I measured for the Cassato. It doesn't go right to the edges because it's a round one. Um, I did look at quite a few. Uh, I only, I'm only putting a doll in here, so I'm not not bothered about whether it's breathable or anything like that. I just, I, and then people are probably thinking, well, why are you worried about when you're putting just putting a doll in it, having a mattress on it? I don't know. It just feels right. I mean, I don't have to worry about all the safety procedures because it's a doll. That's what I mean. So if I put this then over the top. That will fold in around and it fits in there nicely. So now it's got a nice squishy bit. It's nice and squishy to lie on. Perfect. Or if you want it to, there's the straps, you want it to go on top. And put your own liner and things on it. You can do that too. But I'm going to put it underneath. I don't um, then need the um, mattress cover. Cool. Bonus. One of the other features that I like about it is how easy it is to move around. I love how easy it is to move. But also, this is low down and if you Pull on these clips here, you can bring the baby higher up to you, so the pram can go up higher, or it can go lower, you know, so you can do that either, even when, when the seat's up as well. So my real only bugbears about the Cassato is the mattress, and it doesn't stand up. Now, if you do have the mattress, like that, and then you want to change it, you know, say you want to sit the baby up a little bit. Say you've got a smaller baby, a bigger baby in there. You want to just sit them up a little bit and they're awake. Then you've got, where are you going to put that mattress? So then you've got that concern as well. But Leo's in there, a little seat there. So I'm going to get him tucked in here now. So there is Leo. And the Cassato. It's also these prams today aren't very big. Not, you know, I don't know. They just don't seem very big to me. But then again, he is, his feet are right down the bottom. So he's got that much more room. But it's how narrow they are today. I just find how narrow they are compared to vintage prams. Um, different. But anyway, there we go. So I love the big basket. It's got this little bit on the front of the basket as well, which I really like to put your purse and your car keys or whatever in, out of the way, your handbag even. It zips up. It's got the rain cover in there and the ba this basket is really big for shopping. Okay, so there we go. Mm, something I don't like is a gap here. If you compare this to a vintage pram from years ago, they would come across there. They actually have poppers, so this bit would lift up this bit here. It would come around here and it would pop her up here. Not a lover of that bit either. And also the big wheels. So the wheels are wider than the whole thing. So you think you're getting through somewhere okay, and then you crash the wheels while well, I do. The wheels at the front, I've got a two-wheeler, so the wheel, a four, a two-wheeler, a four-wheeler, so the wheels at the front are quite close. And it's really deceiving when you're pushing the pram. Can you see how wide those wheels are? But I love the, uh, I love the design. I love the handle height, that you, the handle that you can adjust. I love how it goes in seat mode. Really like the colour of it, the design, and it's got this little visor there for when you have it facing forward. The material is um, 
wipeable. I've done a huge video on when I first got it and putting it together. But today I just wanted to do a video on the things that I really like and dislike about it. Because that's been a request. So there we go. Great. I also think that this handle, this foamy stuff, when it gets wet, absorbs the water. And I've seen a lot of them where people have sold them second hand. These have been chipped. Bits have broken off. Where they, because obviously it's used day in, day out. 